Hey guys, welcome to our new video. In this video, we will be talking about the incredible Dr. Poe and find out what hidden skeletons does the chief veterinary of the show have. The Incredible Dr. Paul is a reality TV show that documents veterinary practices and cases of animal treatment. It airs on Nat Geo Wild where veterinarian Jan Paul, his family, and employees can be seen at work. The series first premiered in 2011 and has 20 seasons so far. On December 19, 2019, the Michigan Court of Appeals ruled against Jan Poe, veterinarian popularly known for his show The Incredible Dr. Poe, and thus the 77-year-old star was on professional probation for negligence since then. This decision affirmed the 2018 order by the State Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, LARA, which was filed for the case of performing surgery on a dog and treating a wounded horse. Looking back to the series of events surrounding this topic, there have been many cases of complaint against Jan Poe. In 2013, a TV viewer brought to light how Dr. Poe carried out an OVO hysterectomy on a dog and failed to intubate the dog during the surgery. He didn't use an electronic monitoring device while carrying out the procedure and failed to take proper precautions to prevent any infections that might occur. His disregard to follow proper procedure led to investigations on the matter and a complaint being filed against Dr. Poe. In 2015, another complaint was filed to the state from a horse owner who stated that Dr. Poe did not wear gloves, cap or a gown while treating a cut on their horse's leg and that the horse's hair was not trimmed near the laceration. After reviewing the complaints, the administrative law judge came to conclusion that failed to show Dr. Poe as negligent or incompetent in his practice. However, Lara officials rejected this conclusion and decided to place Chan Poe on probation for a minimum of one day not to exceed one year for the filed complaint. Dr. Poe was to serve a probationary period and pay all costs sustained in complying with the terms of that order. Despite this, he had to complete continuing education in the areas of small animal surgical preparation and monitoring and small or large animal aseptic technique. Dr. Poe has been accused of negligent practices since long ago. In April 2010, he failed to accurately read a canine ultrasound for which he was put on probation in 2012. And in 2014, he failed to wear the sterile surgical attire while performing surgery on a dog. He was ordered to pay a $500 fine and serve a year of probation by Lara, however this was overturned by the Michigan Court of Appeals in 2016 due to insufficient evidence. Despite all the complaints, the show is ongoing and Dr. Poe's practice is as crowded as always. His attorney isn't worried as the appeals process won't impact the show negatively. According to Christopher S. Patterson, Dr. Poe's attorney, Poe will not stop challenging the Michigan Veterinary Board for their arbitrary decisions until a fair and rational process will be used for reviewing the veterinary care practices. So what do you guys have to say about how Dr. Poe conducts his practices? Can his skills and experience justify his inability to follow through the standard practices? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comment. Thank you for staying to the end and I'll see you in the next video.